Hello coders, welcome back to our channel IAS Tech. Today we will be tackling an interesting and highly important topic in Angular 16, how to validate reactive forms. Without further ado, let's dive in. Reactive forms in Angular provide a model-driven approach to handling form inputs whose value change over time. This makes validation an essential part of the process. So let's start by setting up new Angular project. So if you did not start or create your project already, you can create your project by running this command ng new and your project name. Okay. I already have generated my project. So I will be using my project that I already opened in my editor VS code. Now let's import the reactive forms module in our app module. Make sure to import it here as well by using angular slash forms. Now let's create a simple form in our app.component.html. First of all, I will open the TypeScript file and here I will create a property user form and then I will have a form group. Make sure to import it from angular slash forms and now pass it an object. And in this object, we will have to specify the multiple properties. Every property will be your uh, form field. So let's add first name, new form control. So the value will be value for every field would be the form control. And the first parameter will be the default value of that field. And second parameter will be validator. Make sure to import the validators class from the angular slash form and now use required. So in this way, you can add validation on any form control last name. And now we will have a field for email. And this time we would like to have multiple validators. One is required and second one validator would be for the email. So in the second parameter, we can either pass a single validator or you can also pass an array of multiple validators. So we will convert into an array. First parameter of first element of this array is validators dot required. And second one would be another validator that is validators dot email. Okay. So I will revise that in this code that we just created, we have created a form with three fields, first name, last name and email. So notice that we have attached the required validators to all of these three fields and additional email validator to the email field. The validator will ensure that input matches the pattern of an email address. Now let's go to the app.component.html. I will remove every existing code in the HTML file and I will start creating my form. In this form, we will add form group directive and link it with the form that we just created in our TypeScript class. And we will listen to the submit event of this form and on submit we will call a function on submit that we will define shortly now i will create a label and first name also we need an input type would be text and make sure to add form control name for every input so first name is our first input and make sure this form control name is exactly same that you have mentioned in the property of your form group by the way, you have to wrap this in the label and after every label, we will have a div element and that div element will be visible based on ng if condition and the condition would be. So actually this div is to display the error. The error is first name is required and we will show this error only if there is an error in our code. So this is how you can check if there is an error of type required on our form for that use user form dot controls dot first name dot invalid and if it is invalid also it is user form dot controls dot first name dot touched so we have used the combination of two conditions that it should uh, uh, display this error message only if the form field was touched M means if user try to touch with the input if they clicked on the input and it is invalid then it will show the error for example if you don't add this condition then it will keep showing the error all of the time because at the beginning the form is obviously invalid because you did not fill anything in the form yet, form yet so that's why we added this condition to get rid of this error i will also immediately create a blank function for now on submit now if you open your app uh, i got an error 
<coughs> because I did not save my HTML yet. So for example, if I remove this condition, you will see that it is showing the first name required error all of the time. That is not correct. We should show it only if it is touched. So for example, if you touch it and you move away, then it will show the error. Refresh it. If you click on it, if you click on it and if you click outside, it will still uh, consider it touched and it will display this error message. Now we will repeat this process for all of the labels. So I will copy paste because all of the fields would be almost same. So this is the last name input. So form control name is last name. Similarly, the control will be the last name. Okay. And here we will have the error last name. And here this is the field for email. The type would be email and form control name is email and here we will use email and email touched so in this i will have two further divs one div would be for the error email is required and second div for be will be for the invalid email error okay so we can easily identify that what kind of error it is so i can simply use ng if user form dot control dot email dot errors dot required and add a question mark here so before using this i would like to see the content of the errors so let's see what is inside this property so here i will add errors pipe it through json all right now let's test it you can see that right now in the email errors we have an we have a property we have an object required true and if you provide invalid email then you will have a property in that object email true so we can use this json to check our condition so we will check if error dot required is true then show this message and if we have the error.email property true then that's when we have to show this error message so to get rid of this error we have to access it in this way so we can add if condition here so if there are errors then we have to access those errors and also i will access it with this syntax all right now let's test it i will get rid of this json print and let me add some style to the label display block margin bottom 10 pixels and let's see okay i will also add a submit button at the bottom and we will keep this button disabled until it is in until the form is invalid so this means the form is invalid so if it is invalid then it will disable the submit button and the type would be submit okay now let's test it you can see that submit button is disabled because the form is not valid yet if you type something here and here it is still disabled because email is invalid and if you move away from the email field you will see that invalid email error is visible and if you remove something from the last name field and make it empty then you will see the error message for the last name as well similarly it will be working for the first name as well so if you fix it then error will be gone and if you remove the email and keep it empty then you will see the email is required error if you fix everything then submit button will be visible because form would become valid you can see that submit button is working now now we need to implement the on submit function so go back to your typescript class and we will use if this so we will submit this uh, form the values of this form to server or wherever you want to use only if it is valid if it is invalid then then we will not allow anybody to submit this form so we will use that if user form is valid then first of all console the value of the form in the uh, in the browser so this dot user form dot value and now i will reset the form so that we could uh, set the input fields empty again like in the beginning so use reset function this will make this will make it empty now let's test it i will fill something here as well here as well now click the submit button and before that open the console 
and now if you hit the submit button you will see that input fields are reset and we can see the form data in the console email first name last name you can uh, use this data to send the backend or wherever you want to use it so that's it a simple reactive form in angular with the basic validation is implemented i hope that this video was useful for you thank you for watching this tutorial please give the video a thumbs up and share it and subscribe to our youtube channel for more coding tutorials until next time goodbye